Hey guys, it's Rachel from The Little Reading Lamb, and today's new Sam about back to me. What's Rachel reading? Before I get into what I'm reading though, I just want to say apologies for the lighting. It's 9 o'clock in the morning. I have a driver's lesson this afternoon. It's school till this afternoon, so I'm not going to have time to film, and it gets dark earlier now because of the winter. So I just decided to film earlier in the morning, so the lighting could be weird. Just ignore that because that's what I'm trying to do. Um, it's just, it's going to be temperamental for the next few weeks trying to figure out my schedule. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep out activities on Thursday. It feels kind of weird putting it on Thursdays, but I'm still going to give it a few more weeks to try out. So back to what I'm reading. I have three books I'm currently like kind of in the limbo of reading. My first one is a book I'm reading at home, which is a reread and it's Twisted by Sarah Shepard, the ninth book in the pre liar series. I'm currently on page, I believe, 25 or 6 and starting chapter 2. Um, I just picked this up, I believe, to reread on Tuesday, and I had a project due yesterday night, so I've been really working on that and trying to get some of my homework, like, done ahead of time. I've been trying to utilize my time more because my reading week, I didn't utilize my time as well as I should have, and I'm just trying to stay more on top of it in the upcoming week so I don't, like, stress myself out with deadlines. So I haven't got that much read of this, but once again, um, I'm going to be reading th rereading this book in the 10th book this month because... This book was last month's PLL read-along book and I didn't get to it last month so I had to reread both. It's getting closer to the end of the month so I decided to pick this up and I hope to read at least half of this by the end of the weekend if not the full thing. Then when I'm at school I'm carrying um, Consider the Lobster by David Foster Wallace and this is a book of essays written by him. I've read his commencement speech which I read this month in the book form. It's called Breathe. I'm pretty sure that's the title of it. And I read it on a Saturday. I don't know if I even mentioned I read it but if you follow me on Goodreads you know I read it. Um, and basically this book, yeah, it's just essays and it's nice and like, it's not short, but like, I like kind of reading these essays type, type style books at school, um, because I feel more like in the mode of wanting to read something that's I'm learning about. Um, but sometimes I feel like a story, but right now I'm just feeling like reading some essays from him. Um, I heard very good things about this book. I've been wanting to read it for a while. So I thought what better way than to pick it up now. And the third book is one that I'm currently reading and I've been reading for a long, 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 long time. Um, which is Voyager by Diana Gabaldon, the third book in the Outlander series. Now, um, I've been reading this since June. I'm currently on page 380, and I really need to get a move on on this because I just really do, because I don't want to lose track of the story, and I don't want to get out of the story and have to restart the series or restart this book because I've made a lot of progress. So I hope to read to at least, at least page 500 this um, by the end of this month. Not sure if that's possible, but I'll take 400, 450, at least 20 pages. Like, I need to move up a bit in this book. Um, so I'm going to try to read this on weekends. Consider the lobster at school and twist it at home during the weekdays. So hopefully this reading schedule will work out. The videos for the rest of the week are pretty simple. I'm only posting one um, video, which is a book review on After You by Jojo Moyes. It's a sequel to Me Before You. Um, and I'm very excited to post a review about this. Like, it wasn't as good as Me Before You. The second half of the book definitely helped reprieve it, but I will talk about more of that in my book review, which will probably post on Sunday. I'll aim for Saturday, but we all know it's probably going to be Sunday. And then I don't think I'm posting a Wednesday, Top 5 Wednesday next week. I'm not 100% sure. I haven't looked at the topic. I think I plan only to do this past week because it was a topic that I really wanted to do. I'm not sure about next week. And if I don't post a top five Wednesday I'll be back next Thursday with a bad back to me so that is the schedule and what I'm reading definitely let me know in the comments if you're reading any great books or any books at all it doesn't really have to be great just up to you guys um and yes I want to thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later bye